Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to F1 2017. We're going to do, uh, we're going to really try out the photo mode, because I want to maybe sort of cover a couple of things that maybe, maybe people that are not into photography, I, I, I do photography in my spare time, um, so I just really want to kind of highlight what stuff means, uh, and maybe some of the stuff that you can actually do in the game. So here we go, I've got my my career modes here. This is my uh, my original uh, file that I started uh, recording my career mode. Then I went down to twenty five percent mode. So I'm going to jump into this, and we're going to we're going to see what it's like. So I do just want to cover some stuff. Uh, I mean, a lot of people might not know what, what depth of field and shutter speeds and stuff. Uh, and I just want to kind of tell you and show you some of the effects that you can actually get. I want to actually try out a couple of things as well. So let's, let's jump in. This is my, let's see, this is my other uh, file that I've got. That I just play like like off offline. I say offline, but off screen. I don't record it as such. Um, I'm actually quite enjoying it. You know, I've had some some okayish uh, Grand Prix. You can see that I'm actually twenty one. I'm I'm tied level with uh, Alonso. But I need to check the engine because I had I found that you can do the track program with a pretty beat up engine so we need to swap this out that's actually starting to get a bit warm so is that in fact all these parts are getting I mean, that's the right, we'll change the I'll change this up That's actually, I may actually have to change, I may have to actually go into a new part. I think for this purpose I'll keep that, I'll just keep that in. Oh, every time I do that, I keep meaning to keep it up. I feel I, I, I exit that, that page I was in, but it doesn't happen that way. So let's go to practice two and we'll just see what, what we can do in photo mode. I tried it last night. I actually spent a long time trying to find how you actually took a picture. But what it does is it rent. Uh, I need to cut that out. So welcome back. I'm trying I need to cut out that uh, scene. So this is gonna be gonna be photo mode. Um So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna go out because I don't really need to do any sort of programs. That 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 Jeff sounds a bit different. So there's actually been a, a quite a big uh, update file to this game. I think some of the kind of in fact you can see there that they've got McLaren F1 on the side pods there. So there's a lot of there's a lot of changes to it. Right there. We're seeing minor damage to the front wing. Be easy on the car until we get it prepared. We don't want to risk making oh. this worse. That way, there, old champ. It's not a good start yet. That is such a difficult corner. You've got it. Okay. Quite, quite a scrappy okay. lap so far. So actually quite a good attention to detail there when you get you, when you go through the tunnel uh, Jeff breaks up which is quite good it's quite man I always get that corner kind of wrong ok 
Okay, I just want to let's uh, let's change the. I have a uh, traction control on, so I'm going to turn that off because I want to try something. Wow, the traction control was full. Okay, that maybe account for the fact that it was uh, quite easy there. Uh, so let's. I just want to see if I can get wheel spin. I get a hoop spin there. Right. I know I've actually damaged my wing, I don't really care. So here we go, this is going to be photo mode. There we go, get a little bit of a uh, tyre. Tyre squeal as they say. So, Basically, when you get into the, the flashback, or if you get into the replay mode, you can see there at the end it says photo mode. Uh, photo mode. Um, press the options button. Now, I was in this last night and I really struggled to find, to take the actual shot, but you don't. And I'll kind of go through stuff. Um, but here you go, you can actually walk about, which is good. I thought they changed the. Oh, that's kind of strange. Uh, I was actually under the impression that they put. Ah, uh, mind you, that's, that's Alonso's car, right? Okay, I'll take that back. Um, they've updated the, the kind of liveries in the, in, in the cars. I think there's a lot of them didn't have certain aspects. Like, did they have the world's fastest gamer on the side pods? And did they have Castro there? I, I don't know. I know, for instance, that the, the stuff on there has been updated. And the side pods, Logitech, and the McLaren down the bottom. But this is photo mode. And, I mean, that's just, for me, as, as a YouTuber, um, this actually kind of changes the game a little bit. If I want to do like a, a preview JPEG, this is absolutely golden basically so let's get down kind of low here there we go right so this is your settings here color grade you know you can change that that's just like adding in like effects like punch up probably going to boost the colors a little bit enhance um, cooler warmer that's a kind of white balance almost You know, it's just basically kind of vibrant, easy day, sepia. Just your basic kind of um, different night vision. That's quite interesting. Um, just various uh, elements. There's actually quite a lot. So probably the, the original one I think is the, the best. So I'll go back. Uh, exposure basically all that does is make it brighter or you can make it darker probably around, around a bit there brightness as well you can actually adjust that um, exposure is kind of the same kind of thing uh, to brightness saturation you can make it more vibrant basically so that's what saturation does. It, it enhances the, the, the colours. You know, you can make it very bland. Almost the same as what the colour grade does, but it, it just it just makes the colours pop a little bit. You know, you can keep it kind of neutral, or you can you can make that that orange pop a, a bit more. Contrast. Contrast is more to do with, with, with darks. Bloom. Bloom's the kind of stuff in the back almost. Uh, lens streaks. Probably hard to see what that actually does. It, it does affect it a little bit. Uh, lens flares on. Vignette. And basically, that's just see how the, the, the edges go. Um, Sometimes you probably want the, the full picture. 
and you can actually adjust the the vignette you can make it a little bit less so it's just creeping in at the edge and sometimes that just takes the the, the kind of the, the, the harshness out of the corners but I'll turn that off so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna go down to go back up if you know what I mean uh, so there we were vignette size now depth of field de depth of field is basically if you look at this picture at the moment, right, there's no depth of field on this. So basically, from what the nose of that car to the back is in focus. And also, if you look at the, the background, the scenery, it's all in focus. The depth of field is a term that basically it's... I'll turn it on and you'll probably actually see that right away, if you look at the back of the, the wing of the McLaren, when you, you put the depth of field on, it goes blur. Now, depth of field is the actual element that's in focus. And then anything front and back of that band, it's almost like uh, when you use a camera and you've got like, like, a, an, an aperture number, which is an f-stop number, the higher the number is the smaller the, the, the aperture blades come down and it, it makes your depth of field bigger, which increases the, the actual area that's in focus, basically. So if I went to high F number, which would basically be taking would be taking the, the depth of field off, I would probably get all that cut in focus. But if I put depth of field on and there's your depth of field target. That's not coming up for some reason. But the good thing with this, this is your focus meter. So if I went back to this part here, you can see that that comes into focus at the back. And the car is now out of focus. So your depth of field, if you if you think about it, that box there, that's where your, where your, your focus point is. So anything behind that and also in front of it is going to be out of focus. So you could add, oh, I don't want to move that. Maybe just want to go a bit there. Right, let's bring that back. If I put that on, on the, the wing, and you can see there that that's in focus. And I can increase that depth of field intensity. You know, I think, I'm trying to think. Yeah, West brings it, you can see it start to come back. Or you can actually put it right up to five, I think is the most. Uh, and that that basically you can probably see there that the back wind's in focus. The front's probably in focus as well. Uh, so that's your that's your depth of field. So that's all that is. It's basically stuff behind and in front of your, your depth of field will be out of focus, basically. Um which is quite quite a nice a nice way to have it because it it emphasises that the the car the car like pops out you can see it more and um, field of view field of view is just really as you can see there when you pan back you can actually see the depth of field t take effect there see the nose is in focus the tail's out if I go back to the tail. You can see that the nose is out of focus. Um, so that's using like a really wide angle lens, which will potentially do that. Uh, so field of view is quite good. I'll go back to where we were with I think it was 75%. So we'll put it back on the helmet there, because that, that's the kind of midpoint of the car. Now, shutter speed. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, good. We can change the, the, the time. The time of day is quite good, actually, because you can see that it's in shadow. So you'd actually probably want it to be, like, where the sun's high. 
but I can go to night time. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So I'll probably keep it to the suns just at a nice point in the car. That's quite a good angle there. Uh, target driver. See, if, if there's more cars on track, you could probably actually uh, target an another driver. Why well, that's just normal. I'll right, we'll just keep that. We'll go position. And that's quite good. You can actually put it. You can actually put in various uh, points. So we'll, we'll head back to these two. Shutter speed and the motion blur camera. Now we can attach this to the car. You can have it static. I'll probably actually show you what happens when you do that. Now shutter speed. Shutter speed is actually. I mean, a lot of people might know, might not know what that means, but that's one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed. Basically, to put it in kind of in simple terms, that's a really fast shutter speed, and that will capture the car. It will what freeze frame the 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 shot, right? So, if you want the car to be no motion blur in it, you would actually probably hit that, or even at the with the background. If we didn't have the background blurred out, and we took that in fact, we'll just do that. Let's go back to uh, depth of field. Right, we'll put the depth of field right down. So you can see there that everything's really in focus again. Now if you took that at 1,800th of a second, as you can see there, the car's absolutely, absolutely perfect. There's no motion blur at all. So to take the photo, and I'll get back to doing different shutter speeds, but to take the photo, I was trying to find like an actual take a picture button, because Gran Turismo's got that. But with this, it, it renders it on the screen live. So basically, you hit the triangle button and you take everything away, and then I basically just hit the my share button and take a picture. And that's a picture you get, which I, I'm a, a, for me that just I can actually put my my YouTube preview pictures in it now. You know, I can put my title down the side and along the top. Um, in fact, I probably actually have. Ah, I don't want to do that. Okay, let me go back. Right, maybe try and get. Right, we'll get that's actually quite a nice shot there. Right, I'm actually, I, I actually want to put my logo position down there. I want it bottom right. So we've actually put the the depth of field means that basically everything's in in focus. So what we're going to do now is change the shutter speed. Now that's the fastest shutter speed you can get. So that captures, that freeze frames the, the whole, that whole shot there. So what we're actually going to do, we're going to take it right down. So basically, that's the fastest and that's the slowest. That's 1 30th of a second. You see there that it's actually rendering the, the, the picture. And you can see straight away that you get a lot of, motion blur and the, the, the tarmac goes like a streak and you can see there at the, the, the side that the crowd uh, and you get that nice motion whereas if you go to that you see the tires it's almost as if the car is parked and the tires are smoking a little bit you get no there's no like feeling a movement which is why you really don't want to take a picture at, at one eight thousandth of, of a second you want to come down a little bit and you can see there see how it just it just blurs and there you go you've actually got a sense of movement now if we probably actually go back to try and see where the focus mode is So that's with the, the depth of field on. And you can see there we've now got a focus point, so if we put it on the helmet for instance. And it'll render it. And 
and there you go. I don't know why that's still on. I'll right, take that off. There we go. Just a really nice uh, picture that you can use. So I'm actually going to take a screenshot of that. Again, just press the share button on the PS4 controller. So we can move this around, keep keeping the same settings. And then it'll render that. And there we go, we've got a McLaren with the, the, the smoking tire. We'll probably actually change, we'll probably go back in. Yeah, the, the focus points there. You can actually make it right on the back, back of the car there. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, for me as a as a photographer, and even just making YouTube videos, it means that I can I can actually go back in and like, capture something like this, you know, capture the moment as such. I mean, we can go right into the tire there. You actually see you see that the car actually move, you know. Yeah, it's 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 as I mean a lot of people might be going off. I'd rather just race, but it, it's quite impressive that you can do this. So let's maybe get another angle here. Let's get a. Let's really get all down here. Get it coming into the into the picture. Let's see where my focus point is actually. Yeah, let's put it up. Let's maybe put it mid nose there. Yeah, I mean, that, for me, I know there's a lot of people go hold up. I was going to say, I've damaged my wing. Um, so that's actually quite a good uh, indication of, of wing damage. You can see there that I'm missing the, those top elements uh, to my wing and the side, the side part I'm missing. Okay, that's, that's quite interesting. But the stuff you can do in this is actually quite, I think it's quite amazing. This one's particularly good. I'm actually trying to get it. Oh, I mean that is shit. Uh, it's, 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 it's quite impressive, I think. You know, there's maybe a lot of people who go. Eh, it's just. It's pretty enough. I, th I think it's. I think it's a really good feature. Oh, let's do this. I mean, that's just fantastic. I mean, uh, it, it kind of makes me just want to take pictures all the time. I mean, you could just spend hours doing this. I 
mean, that's just that's just good. Uh, it actually means that like a YouTuber can, if there's an incident that happens in in the race, uh, you know that person can actually go to that 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 actual point and and take a picture and have a re a really good uh, like JPEG preview of it. But that's that's a photo mode. I mean, I hope I've kind of explained, you know, what shutter speed does and depth of field. It, it's pretty basic. Um, you change it, you actually see what it does. I mean, the, it, the different shutter speeds give you different kind of, see that's still quite, that's quite a high shutter speed, or fast. It's when you really start getting to like that, like one five hundredth of a second will probably, probably give, start giving you a bit of blur. One two fiftieth. So you can see that the tarmac's still quite. Some it's getting out of focus a little bit. But it's really when you get into it one sixtieth of a second. That's when you really start to get the, the tarmac start starting to kind of blur out. Um, so if there's other cars in the, oh, the in fact, just, in fact, just when I say that, let's, let's go back, let's change this up to one eighth, eight thousandth of a second. I was going to see who else is on the track, there's Hamilton. So we can now actually go to him, and see his car. Let's uh, change the focus point here. So there you go, there, there's, uh, there's Lewis Hamilton's car. And we can actually go around that and check. I mean, it's it's just... I think there's actually changes to to some of the cars. I don't know what, what cars have got changes on them. Um, but they've made, they made some uh, kind of livery changes in the cars. But anyway guys, that, that's photo mode. I just thought I would go in and show you photo mode. Uh, what if I want to say, go back a little bit. Because I crashed. See that actually drives pretty good. With traction control off. It's something that I actually can drive. I can drive it with you know no assist. I've oh, been too long yet. I'm gonna actually change that a little bit. I just bashed into that side and that was quite annoying. Towards the back end there. That's such a different corner to take. You know, just going further the, the throttle sometimes. Just seem to take that too wide. Well, you better be so careful on the throttle. Maybe lost the tire. Anyway, guys, that's going to conclude this 
video, as I say, I just really wanted to show the the, the photo mode. In fact, we show photo mode of the crash. Crash bang wall, what a picture. And bits of carbon flying off. That's the tire completely off. Front wing's gone. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't think that CNN logo was there before. I know that Alonso's got like ELO and Van Dorm's got VAN just, just below that CNN. But I don't think that was on the previous car. But there you go. That's what happens when you crash out. Let's exit photo mode here. Anyway, that's going to conclude this video. I hope it kind of helped a couple of people just uh, find out photo mode and stuff you can do. Probably people will just press buttons anyway but it's nice to to have a kind of explan uh, an explanation of uh, some terms in, in photography so anyway hopefully that helped out and I'm probably actually going to go and race oh shut up Jeff so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon thanks for watching Bye.